is Angelina Rousseau. I'm an Associate Professor at Swinburne University in the Faculty of Design and I'm also a co-convener of the Museum 3.0 Ning site. Museum 3.0 was set up by Dr Linda Kelly at the Australian Museum in 2008. Uh, Linda Kelly is the head of audience research as well as the head of uh, the Rika Prizes and, uh, and also of the web services at uh, the museum at the moment. And it was essentially established to connect professionals from the cultural institution sector. What it aims to do is to explore relevant issues, share knowledge and to identify future trends. I work very closely with Linda Kelly on a federally funded research project called Engaging with Social Media in Museums. And through the discussions that we had as part of this project, the Ning site sort of formed as a way of really drawing together professionals to discuss some of the ideas within that project. That project's been looking at the impact of social media on museum learning and communication. And so we set up the site to explore how we could use social media to dis develop discussions in the sector, to identify future trends and create a better understanding of who is doing what. Um, we're hoping to reach professionals, students and possibly even policy makers. We've had quite a number of, um, of cultural heritage museum studies programs actually uh, linked to us and, uh, and, and through that, uh, that has brought a number of uh, particularly postgraduate students to our site, which I think is just fantastic. I like the fact that we have some museum directors there, civic commentators, students, along with a host of museum and library professionals and people who are just interested, which is wonderful. We had a couple of early adopters in there. Sebastian Chan from the Powerhouse Museum was, of course, there with us um, right up fr um, from the very beginning, uh, making sure that it was a three-way conversation and not just a two-way conversation. And we, we at every um, event that we presented um, or where we gave a talk, we, we promoted the Museum 3.0 site as a way of um, museum professionals or cultural heritage professionals connecting to each other and finding out about what's going on in the sector. I think that Ning is a truly collaborative network tool. I've run a blog for the past two and a half years and while I can see that we get quite a lot of traffic, I have no idea of who's reading that blog. And as with many blogs, I don't get many responses. With the Ning site, I can see who's interested in participating, who's inviting colleagues. It's much more democratic and much more, much more lively. And I think that in the end, it's actually, um, there, there, are le there are fewer barriers with the Ning site that, than there are with the blog site. I think that blogs, for the most part, particularly one-person blogs, tend to assume some level of expertise in whatever, whatever you're, you're discussing. Whereas with the Ning site, we have everyone from you know, Linda and myself uh, and Seb uh, um, posting through to students who are doing internships at, um, at museums. So I think it's a much more democratic and, and dynamic site because of that. As far as um, what excites me about the possibilities of social media in the cultural heritage sector, I think that sites like the National Centre for Preservation Technology and Training is a great example of the potential value of social media in the field of cultural heritage. By sharing knowledge across organisations and individuals, there's much less chance of that knowledge disappearing as people move on or move into different um, parts of their, their working lives or into different parts of the sector. Flickr Commons is another fantastic example of cultural heritage, of social media in the cultural heritage sector. Many of the organisations involved have contributed their historical photographs, which audiences have then added sometimes extremely significant amounts of research to, and all in the name of providing a much more complex, rich and deep um, record for future generations. I think that's, that really demonstrates the power of social media and of the partnerships that can be created between cultural heritage um, sector and, um, and audience members. In the longer term, I'm, I'm just about to start working with a couple of people to analyse the data around some of the conversation strands uh, which have occurred within the Ning site, particularly to try and assess some of the future trends to, to, to determine what audience members are interested in in terms of the future for, of social media uh, as we sort of move past this first wave of, um, of uh, really tremendous initiatives within the, 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 set, the sector. I think that uh, what, we'll be, what we'll be seeing much more of in the, the sector itself, and hopefully that will be reflected in the Ning site, is that convergence between 
um, between cultural heritage and uh, cultural heritage professionals and audience members, as well as much stronger convergence between the exhibition uh, and uh, public program, educational programs, and curatorial research within um, museums. One of the uh, initiatives which we have developed as part of that is a Facebook site for exhibition development for a, uh, a project at the Australian Museum called All About Evil. And we decided to set up a Facebook site for that initiative to really garner a broad range of um, audience ideas about what sorts of objects, themes, activities, events might actually go into an exhibition which would be called All About Evil. That's quite interesting to see how that's developed and certainly part of the research now will be to take that. Part of the research will be to look at how the Facebook site influences the final uh, exhibition product. We're looking forward to Museum 3.0 continuing to develop, to, we're looking forward to uh, attracting more members and those members really sharing a great deal of knowledge and connecting with each other and through that, um, that networking we hope that there is some value that we give back to the community just by leading through example in, in the sense that we have the opportunity finally to be able to have conversations uh, across the sector and I'd like to see those, to, those continue to develop and I'd also like to see more curatorial stuff um, become part of our membership so that we can be certain that the issues that are, um, are being discussed are in fact reflective of the broad range of professionals working within the sector. So